In this tutorial, I'll be knitting a bell flower. For work, we need two balls of yarn, a pair of knitting needles, a crochet hook, and a tapestry needle. To begin, on two knitting needles, cast on 15 stitches. I'm casting on with a classic long tail cast on method. Here I have 15 stitches on my needles, remove one of the needle and begin knitting the first row right side. Slip the first edge stitch purlwise, knit each stitch till you reach the last one. And purl the last edge stitch. Turn to the wrong side, row 2. Slip the first stitch purlwise and purl each stitch across the row. Purl the last edge stitch as well. Turn the work, row 3 right side. Slip the edge stitch, then knit 2 together. Yarn over, again knit 2 together, yarn over, repeat, knit 2 together, yarn over, knit 2 together, yarn over. Repeat the same till the end of this row. Knit 2 together, yarn over, then knit the next stitch and purl the last one. Turn to the wrong side, row 4. Slip the edge stitch, then purl the next stitch and knit into the yarn over. Purl 1 and knit into the yarn over. Again, purl 1, knit into the yarn over. Work till the end of this row. Purl, knit, purl and purl the last one. Now turn, work on the right side, row 5. Slip the edge stitch, knit edge stitch till the last one. and purl the last stitch. Turn to the wrong side to continue with row 6. Slip the 8th stitch and purl 8th stitch across. Again turn to the right side, row 7, slip the 1st stitch and knit 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and purl the last stitch. Turn to the wrong side, row 8, slip the first stitch and purl each stitch across the row. Now turn to the right side, work row 9. Slip the edge stitch purlwise, then insert the needle into the space that is below the first yarn over. Take the working yarn and pull it through this hole. Pull it up to the level of your row, then put this loop on the main needle. Do not make it loose, this loop should tighten your knitted piece a little. Then knit this new loop on the one that is on the needle together. Then repeat again, insert the needle into the same hole, pull up a loop through and knit this loop on the one that is on the needle together. Now work into the next opening, insert the needle into the next hole, take the working yarn, pull it through, pull this new loop on the main needle and knit two together. Repeat one more time, working into the same opening. Pull up a loop through, pull this loop on the main needle and knit two together. Continue and work the same, work twice into each opening till the end. Again into the same hole, pull up a loop through and knit this loop and the one that is on the main needle together. Continue, work into the next hole, pull up a loop through and 
knit two together. Again, pull up a loop through, knit this loop and the one that is on the main needle together. Continue and pull up a loop twice through an each hole. Knit two together, again pull up a loop through the same hole and knit two together. And work through the last hole. Pull up a loop, knit two together, and the last time pull up a loop through and knit two together. Then knit the next stitch and purl the last one. Turn to the wrong side, row 10. Slip the first stitch and purl each stitch across. Purl the last stitch as well. Turn to the right side, row 11. Slip the first stitch purlwise. Knit each stitch till the last one. And purl the last stitch. Turn to the wrong side, row 12, slip the first stitch and purl each stitch across the row. The last one. Turn to the right side, row 13, slip the first stitch, knit each stitch till the last one and purl the last stitch. Now turn to the wrong side, work row 14, slip the first stitch and purl each stitch across. Now turn to the right, work row 15, knit first three stitches together. Then continue, knit three together and work the same till the end. Work by knitting three together. Here I have five loops on the needle. Let's cut the yarn leaving a tail about 20 centimeters long to complete the flower working with the tapestry needle. Here I thread the yarn tail into the yarn needle. Now with the yarn needle pick up each stitch on the knitting needle. And now pull the yarn tail through these five last loops. Tighten a bit. Now sew the beginning and the end of each row together. I'm working through the edge stitches, inserting the needle in two loops of each edge stitch. Work till the end of this row. Insert the needle in two loops of each edge stitch and the last stitch. Here I'll do one more stitch to secure. Here as you can see I've finished the body of my bell flower. Now let's continue and crochet stamens. For the stamens, I will work with a green color yarn and a crochet hook. 
Develop the strand, leave a tail about 10-15 cm long, we will use it later. And begin making chain stitches. I will do about 35-40 chain stitches. Then I will fold this chain in half and place it inside of my flower. The chain should come out from the inside of the flower so it can be seen. Here I think the chain is long enough. Let's try it on. Place it inside like this. So this crochet chain works as stamens. I will chain five more just to make it a little longer. One, two, three, four, five, and now you can cut the yarn. Here is my chain I folded in half. And now from the inside, I pull all these tails of the stamens through the little hole that I have on the top of my flower. I'm doing it with a crochet hook. All tails are out now. And to fix this center in place, again, I'm going to work with a crochet hook. I'll do a couple of stitches, insert the hook through any strand on a flower and pull the tails through. Then chain one and single crochet. That's it. Now our center won't move. All these long tails that are left you can cut, make them a little shorter and hide them inside of the bell flower. What I'm going to do is to leave them like they are. I just make a bow knot on top of my flower. Let me show you how I'm going to do this. Just a simple bow. Now my knitted bell flower is completely ready. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to our channel for more free tutorials.